In this video, we will discuss point tools. The create points functionality in Civil 3D provides many, many methods that you can use to create points. The dialog box is segregated into tool categories for easier access. You can access either the dialog box or a dropdown in the home tab, create ground data panel, and then we have the points dropdown right here. If you click on the point creation tools, this contains all of the different categories right here. We have miscellaneous, intersections, alignments, surface, slope, and interpolate, as well as some other miscellaneous tools. However, if you click on the point creation tools, which you should do, this will open the create points dialog because you want to be able to click on this drop down here to control the different settings and parameters necessary when creating points. For instance, the default layer, or when you create points, what prompts you might want, as well as what the actual next point number is and how to create new points based upon the next point. Let's go ahead and leave the point number set to 5,000 and we'll just click on that to minimize it. And let's just create a basic NEZD point. Let's go ahead and zoom in where we're gonna create the point. A circle has been created for you. And let's say we have a tree that the service forgot to pick up, but they have it included in the fieldbook file. So this will just be a miscellaneous point. Let's go ahead and click on the miscellaneous drop down here and click on manual. As I always say, when you don't know what to do, look to the command line window. It says, please specify location for the new point. So we could just type in the X and Y if we wanted to. However, let's go ahead and use the transparent command apostrophe N E for northern easting because that's what we have. For the northern, you want to type in 901-350.3916 and press enter. For the easting, we want 145-6095.4408 and press enter. Notice the command line window asks us for a description. This will be a decid 6. So D E C I D, that's the raw code that will be mapped to our description key set. And then if we type 6 here, because we're using that parameter 1 that we discussed in the description keys video, you'll see here that automatically it'll actually add the symbol and scale the block based upon the parameter. The elevation we have here is 97.32. Press enter. And as you can see, the block comes in differently and it has the description necessary. Pretty cool. Now notice how we're still in the transparent command. So we could keep adding additional points if we wanted to. However, we are done. So press escape once. That gets you out of the transparent command back into the command you had started beforehand. Now we're done. So just press escape and that ends the command completely. Now let's look at another example. Let's zoom out a little bit and zoom into this location here where we have this circle for you to find. And let's say the surveyors were done for the day and they forgot to locate a hydrant. We don't really need the elevation, but we do want to locate the hydrant so we can see it on our plans, right? So in this case, what they did was they taped off a distance from the corner of this building here. So what we can do is actually use one of the intersection commands to generate this point based upon those two distances. In this case, it's a distance distance operation, but notice the option to do many of the different intersection types. So let's click on distance distance. And it says, please specify location for the radial point. Now I could use the transparent command to locate this point here. However, I can also simply just use the node snap to actually snap to the point itself. So let's go ahead and just snap over here for the point number one. And the distance the surveyors taped off of this one is 8.9 and then press enter. And the next one they selected was 439. And the distance for this one is 7.6. Now watch what happens when we do this. Notice how you get two X's, two large X's. This is because Civil 3D has generated two circles. And this is the location for the intersection of those two circles, which of course would get you the distance distance point. Now, if you want all the points to be created, you could click all right here. But we only want the one point, which is this one here. Of course, it's not inside the building, it's over here. So what we can simply do is click near the actual location. You don't have to actually snap to anything. Just simply click here. It automatically will grab that point. Now for the description, we want existing hydrant. This is E-H-Y-D. Press enter. We have no elevation. We don't really need it. This is just simply a graphical block. Press enter and press enter again and then escape. And now we have our hydrant in there with the next point number, which is 5001. As you can see, there are many, many ways that you can create points using the Create Points tools.